Hi, Mr. Zhu. Why have watch calls been cutting in and out recently? Why are important person services simply shouldn't be underperforming like this? We've added many new applications recently, including production, cloud-based, and collaboration applications. These applications have different bandwidth and link quality requirements, but the traditional network technology still being used can identify applications and distribute traffic to different links. This means that network forwarding paths need to be adjusted manually. We need a fix here. Any ideas? How about Huawei's SD1 application-based intelligent traffic steering solution? It provides three flexible traffic steering methods that will easily solve these issues. The solution identifies applications in multiple ways, determines which traffic belongs to which applications, and continues to view link status based on the application priority or link quality requirements to dynamically adjust the forwarding paths for different applications. This protects SLA-sensitive applications from link congestion and ensures the quality of key VIP services. Sounds good. So how is it implemented? The first method involves link quality-based traffic steering. Let's compare a network to a transportation system, where links on the network are lanes. Fast lanes have a good link quality, and slow lanes have a poor link quality. Vehicles on the lanes represent the application data that needs to be transmitted where SLA-sensitive applications are essential vehicles and non-sensitive applications are regular vehicles. As voice services on the network have a low tolerance for packet loss, delay, and jitter, they need to be transmitted over a fast lane with a good link quality, such as costly MPLs link. By contrast, bandwidth-hungry file transfer services can be transmitted over a slow lane with a poor link quality such as a more affordable internet link. CPE detects the link's quality in real time, in other words, calculates the link's SLA. So when an MPL's link's quality is sufficient, voice services continue to be transmitted over the MPL's link. But when the CPE detects that an MPL's link's quality has deteriorated to the point where it's barely able to handle voice services, the CPE dynamically switches voice services to an internet link with a light load that still meets the SLA requirements. After the congestion on the MPL's link recovers, the CPE gradually switches voice services back to the MPL's link. The next method involves load balancing based traffic steering. When multiple lanes with the same quality are available, vehicles are distributed based on each link's low capability to make full use of each one. This means that service traffic can be transmitted over multiple MPL's links at the same time. Links with higher bandwidth transmit more traffic, and links with lower bandwidth transmit less. The final method involves application priority based traffic steering. Let's assume that there are multiple fast lanes and slow lanes, all with varying qualities. At first, vehicles with different lane requirements all run on the fast lane at the same time. But when the fast lane's low capability decreases, essential vehicles take priority. Among network services, voice and file transfer services can preferentially select high priority links, and the optimal service experience is ensured. To provide different quality links for different applications, use link quality-based traffic steering to balance service quality and network costs. To make full use of link bandwidth, use load balancing based traffic steering to maximize the value of links. And to make full use of high quality links and ensure high priority applications, use application priority based traffic steering to achieve an optimal service experience. Next, let's demonstrate how to perform operations on the IMSDNC campus. Step 1 Create a traffic classifier template. This allows specific traffic to be matched against various characteristics such as a layer 2 VLAN, a MAC address, layer 3 5 tuple information, DSCP values, and applications. Step 2. Create an intelligent traffic steering policy. In a transport network priority area, set the available links and priorities. During traffic steering, links are selected based on their priorities in descending order. If the priorities are the same, load balancing is performed among the links according to bandwidth weights. Set traffic behavior. Traffic is then preferentially transmitted or transmitted in load balancing mode. 
set switchover condition and maximum bandwidth utilization to define the link switchover indicator. The CPE then detects the link quality in real time and dynamically selects paths based on the delay, jitter, packet loss rate, or bandwidth usage. Set action when conditions not met to control the link switchover policy when the link quality requirements are not met. Set application priorities to implement dynamic traffic steering for applications with different priorities. After a link switchover occurs, the switchover mode determines whether to switch traffic back to the original link if its quality recovers. Step 3. View the SD1 network. After intelligent traffic steering is configured, view information such as links between sites in real time on BenCE. The following example describes link quality based traffic steering. View inter site links and quality data in the site topology. A green link indicates a good link quality, and detailed information about MPLs and internet links. Information such as uplink and downlink throughput is displayed in real time. Inter site application traffic is distributed on both MPLs and internet links. Voice traffic is transmitted over MPLs links, and file transfer traffic is transmitted over internet links. When an MPLs link's quality deteriorates, the link quality data changes, and the MPLs link changes from green to yellow. Voice service traffic is switched from the MPLs link to the internet link. After the MPLs link recovers, the data changes accordingly. Huawei SD1 intelligent traffic steering fully utilizes the flexibility of hybrid WAN links to provide a more intelligent and better service experience.